Our Sun's closest stellar neighbor, Alpha Centauri, is approximately 4.3 light years away. This means that even traveling at the speed of light, it will still take 4.3 years to reach Alpha Centauri. However, wormholes can greatly shorten this distance to as little as 10 feet, reducing the travel time to a matter of seconds. So how do wormholes work? We can think of the universe as a fabric of space and time, called space-time. A wormhole creates a tunnel between two different points in this space-time spectrum. This tunnel can hypothetically create shortcuts in space travel, as well as allow for time travel. According to Einstein's theory of general relativity, objects of high masses are able to distort the space-time spectrum. This will create a gravity well, which will exert a gravitational pull on all matter, causing even light to bend. One of the solutions to this theory of general relativity is a black hole. A black hole contains a gravitational singularity at its center, or a dimensionless point of infinite density that exerts a tremendous gravitational pull on everything around it. At this point, space-time will curve infinitely. Later, Ludwig Flam stated that there is a possibility of a second solution to Einstein's theory, a white hole. A white hole has the reverse properties of a black hole. It cannot be entered and instead, it emits light and matter. Together, a black hole and a white hole can form a bridge between them known as the Einstein-Rosen bridge, or a wormhole. Matter will enter a black hole and exit through the white hole. However, while wormholes may be mathematically possible, John Wheeler determined that wormholes are too unstable for matter to travel through. He stated that it would collapse immediately when matter, such as spaceships, enter it. Kip Thorne later proposed to stabilize wormholes with exotic matter. Since exotic matter have negative energy, they will be repelled by gravity instead, therefore holding the wormhole open. While small amounts of this exotic matter have been created in laboratories, they have not been found to exist naturally yet. As of right now, the consensus is that stable wormholes cannot form naturally. However, our current understanding of space is still very limited. Maybe one day in the future, shortcuts in space travel, as well as time travel, will be possible. But as for right now, we can only imagine what is out there.